Hello and welcome to clickcentral.com. Today we're talking about the calendar. I created the calendar with the Azov flags ooh, quite a while ago. went on to sort of version 5. It's, it's, it's almost two years old. A few blogs about it, but I've never actually recorded any video about it. So I'm going to do a couple of videos. Um, this video we're going to talk about the sort of the, the concepts of what the calendar is and how it works. And then the, the second video we're going to sort of go through the code sort of take you through that. A lot of people find this really useful, um, really helpful calendar. I hope you do too. So this is a calendar. We're on version 1.5. I shall put a link in the comments on how to get to this QVW and also the script file. The script I'll take you from the next video, but basically what you're going to end up with is a big calendar here with lots and lots of flags uh, which you can use to do previous period report reporting. So previous day, previous business day, last week, month, comparative where it's, let's say on the, the 15th of the month, that's going to look at the 1st of the 15th of the month previous and, and so on and so forth. And there's lots and lots of flags in there. You can also add your own flags. I put these all in examples. Once you understand the basics, it's very easy to add in extra additional flags. There is also in version 1.5, the new flags which is holiday groups, which would be Easter, Christmas, things like that. Especially important around Easter, because Easter moves around from year on year, so it's not always in a fixed position, so this will take account of that. Okay, so how does it work? Okay, this is your standard calendar, one of the first things you learn um, when you're developing ClickView. And what's important is this one-to-one -one link over here. So for every key day, you have a, the same key day over there. So in other words, in this calendar, for every year, you have you have 365 rows per year so it's a one-to-one -one link and this is an example of some of the set analysis that you need to do so year to day you've got to take off all the possible selections look at dates sort of minus different dates and and year start and all these sort of thing i'm not going to go through them all because these are just put up examples, but for people who've done these sort of things before, this will make sense to them and they'll understand you know, where we're trying to go with that. But it gets more and more complicated and when you start looking at things like Easter to Easter or previous business day, which may miss out a weekend or you know, bank holiday, that kind of thing, it becomes more and more complex to write these sort of expressions. But the Azov calendar works slightly differently. The main thing is it's a one-to-many link. But for here, you have... 365 by 365 rows per year so and i'll show you what that means a little bit further on but basically it's a cartesian product so for one year you have 133,000 rows which may sound like a lot but uh, click view and click sense is very good at handling this sort of data because there's not many uh, distinct values in here there's only the same number as what would be the normal calendar so it handles it very very well you also have a very simplified set analysis which actually makes the calculations a lot faster so although it does seem like a lot of effort and a lot of potential wastage um, you do get the, the benefits back later on so this is a Cartesian product so the idea of a standard calendar you would have dates one two and three now a Cartesian product would have every possible combination. So one, two, three, ones, one, two, three, twos, one, two, three, threes. So here what we're saying is the user would select the date as they would do in a normal standard calendar, but it's actually the possible date that links back to the fact. So in this instance, they've selected date one, but actually every single day it will link back to the fact table as it stands at the moment because we've not put any set analysis on there to restrict it. And this is where the set analysis comes in. Every day is relative to each other, and how they are relative is stored as flags. So here, for example, we've got today. So a user selects, I don't know, let's say the second. So today flag is true, which means it's only the possible day is the second. In other words, it is the day that it is. So that's basically, in effect, bringing it back down to a standard calendar. This is where it gets interesting because we've picked the day of the third, but we want to look at yesterday, so the possibly the relative date to the third, which is yesterday, is the second. And again, the relative date to the second, which is yesterday, is the first. So it's going back a day. And likewise, day before yesterday, if we've selected the third, it's day before yesterday, in other words, two days ago, which is the first. So the set analysis becomes a lot more intuitive. Uh, we, we bring back, not always bring back the, the sort of the date max, but we then we look at what the date maxes and work previously to that. 
Okay, that's the basic principle of the calendar with as of flags. Um, on the next video, I'm going to take you through the code, the script, um, which how it builds up those different flags. It's really easy to understand once you get the basics. I'll put a link to the blog post here on the community website and also the blog post on clickcentral.com, uh, which will give you the files and a little bit more information you need. Okay, so hope you enjoy the video and please click this link. It'll take you to the next video, which will talk about all the different script elements for the master calendar with flags. Hope you've enjoyed it. Love to hear your comments and uh, speak to you soon.